Hey everyone, it's Dorcas and welcome back to my channel. So anyone who knows me knows that I own a ton of pens and pencils. So for today's video, I thought it'd be fun to do a quick one on just which of these are my favorite. So first up, we have the Penta RSVP. Uh, I have it in fine point because I just love really thin lines. Um, this baby and I go way back to like 2007 or so when a co-worker introduced me to it and I just have not been able to find a more perfect ballpoint than this one. Yeah, so I'm always very well stocked on these. So I have another set of ballpoint pens that I've been using quite a lot over the last couple of years. Uh, they're from Bendo and they were actually a gift from my sister. And while they don't write as nicely as the Penta RSVP, I love the packaging so much that they get a pass. Um, this set comes in a set of three and in three different colors. And they say, you rule so hard, you're better than unicorns, and gosh, you look so cute. And how can one argue with that? Now moving on to my favorite gel pens, I discovered the Uniball Signo DX a couple years ago when I started working on my first bullet journal because I wanted a pen, like pens that have come in different colors and these are just delicious. They come in a ton of colors as well as a ton, like a bunch of different line weights so you can get thicker or thinner lines depending on what you're using them for. My go-to is the 0.5, I feel like it's pretty versatile. I use them to draw out the lines on my bullet journal pages if I'm not going to be watercoloring over them because they're not waterproof. Um, but I definitely use them for writing notes and just everything. I use these more than my ballpoint pens now. Now I discovered the Pilot Kakuno pen a couple of years ago when I was setting up my very first bullet journal. It's a really good pen for beginners. It's pretty basic and not as pricey as other fountain pens. Um, there's even a smiley face on the nib so you know how to get it. Uh, the outer shell comes in a couple of different colors and the best part about fountain pens is that once it runs empty, you don't have to throw the whole thing away, you can just change out the cartridge and there are different ink colored cartridges for these. Um, and then you're good to go. And finally, we have my white Sakura Jelly Roll pen. This is the 08 size and you've probably seen this make an appearance every time I've made a tiny mistake in my bullet journal setups. Um, but I think I need to create some kind of all black or an all dark theme one month and use this to design the details and the illustrations. And now we're on to pencils. Now, I will always prefer a pen when it comes to writing, but if I have to use a pencil, it needs to be a mechanical one just because I can't handle writing with a blunt point. So the ones that I've been using the last few years are the Papermate Sharp Writer and the Pentel Champ. Now, I'm not married to any of these. I've used a lot of other mechanical pencils in the past that do the job just fine. Um, and then once I start filling them, I'm not married to the lead that I put into it either. Um, but just, I do prefer the Pentel Champ because it has this little squishy grip and makes it a little more comfortable to hold when I'm writing. But like I said, I'm not exactly married to these, but I do like mechanical pencils just across the board when it comes to writing. Now I'm going to be doing another separate video covering my different art supplies for drawing, sketching, illustrating, painting. Um, so the next three pencils were, are going to overlap, but I wanted to include them in this video anyway. And next I have my Derwent Graphic Pencils. Now this set comes in an array of different lead weights. So ranging from really soft lead to really hard lead, and you'll get a really dark line or a really light line depending on which one you use. And these are great for adding depth to your drawings or sketches. I used to use a set like this when I was studying architecture for my floor plans. Now the Palomino Blackwing pencils are pretty up there when it comes to reputation and also pencil snobbery because these are pretty pricey for just being pencils and you also have to buy them in sets of 12 instead of just a single one. Now I wanted to test them out just to see what all the fuss is about and I've actually been using them quite a lot but I'm still not sold that they're worth what they're worth. Um, the, I have them in both the original black wing and then the black wing pearl and the original black wing is a softer lead so you'll get a darker line and then the black wing is a little you know a lighter line because it's a slightly harder lead. Um, the black wing pearl also stays sharper longer because the lead is harder and this one you know you end up having to sharpen quite a lot and we all know how I feel about blunt pencils. 
I also like that the eraser pops out of the pencil and there's actually more eraser than you can see from the outside. So you can, you know, extend it as the eraser goes wasting. And I think you can replace the eraser once this one's done. And finally, I have to give a shout out to my own pencils that I've designed for my stationery company, Porcupine Hugs. Now, I've designed a few different sets by now, but these are definitely the runaway favorite. These are the positive affirmations pencils, and they come with nice phrases on the barrels, which come in six different colors. Um, and the phrases are, I dream big, I am strong, I work hard, I do good, I am kind, and I am brave. And I use these a lot in my sketchbook, and it's definitely a nice reminder to carry around in my pencil pouch. And then we have two bonus items, which aren't a pen or a pencil, but still totally fits in the writing realm. And the first one is my trusty eraser, the Pentel Click Retractable Eraser that you've definitely seen me use in my bullet journal plan with me videos. Um, I love that, you know, I can really get in there and erase little details without, you know, erasing everything around it. Even though when I'm doing my bullet journal, I kind of am erasing the whole page, but I just like that I have more control over what I'm erasing at a time. Um, it's also really comfortable to hold. There has this, it has this little grip. Um, the little clicky noise is oddly satisfying. And, you know, it comes in a pretty blue. And once the tube of, you know, the eraser is done, I can just insert a new one and I'm good to go. I am totally about these refillable, reusable stationary items. So I don't have to keep buying them over and over. And finally, I have another find that's really popular with the bullet journalists, and it's these zebra mild liners. Now, they're highlighters that come in all these, you know, different, really pretty soft colors, and it'll make you want to throw away your chunky yellow highlighter for sure. Um, the nice thing about these is that it has a bold chisel tip on one end, and then on the other end, there's a you know, a fine tip. So you can underline with one or highlight with the other. And I believe they come in sets, but you can also buy them individually and just pick and choose your favorite ones. So that's it for my favorite pens and pencils. That was just a fraction of what I actually own. So these are the ones that I use on the regular and actually really, really love. I'm hoping to do more videos like this one where I take you through my, you know, art supplies, my favorite watercolor paints and sketchbooks and the whole nine. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and then hit the bell button so you're notified of when I upload future videos. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye!